Welcome to Komatsu's resource tips series on smart construction tips for job site optimization. Please note, all content in this presentation is copyright protected. We want to support your business and operations during these uncertain times and beyond. Please check out more resource tips on our website. In this presentation, you will learn about the benefits of 3D GPS machine control excavators across multiple applications and identify potential bottlenecks on your site or in your processes that impact your productivity or operating costs. We are pleased to introduce Renee Kafka, Product Marketing Manager for Smart Construction. Hello, and thank you for attending our talk today on Smart Construction and how it can help you on your job site. My name is Renee Kafka, and I am a Product Marketing Manager for Smart Construction here at Komatsu. Just a little bit about me before we get started. My background is in mining engineering, and I've been with Komatsu for over six years. I started out in application engineering for our mining truck fleets, where I worked closely with our distributors and our customers, completing production studies, doing total cost of ownership evaluations, and even looking into the benefits for our customers of them converting their trucks to a trolley configuration. For the past few years, I've been part of our smart construction development and marketing team. In this role, I transitioned to a construction-focused view, which leveraged my existing experience from the mining side. I am a Part 107 certified drone pilot, using that certification to complete surveying through aerial mapping. I also work with our intelligent machines and have worked closely with our customers on how smart construction can help them make their job site more efficient. To that point, today I plan to share five quick tips to optimize your job sites. Before we jump in, I want to talk about smart construction for a minute. Smart construction is about resolving the bottleneck on customer sites. We try to look at the whole job site picture, finding opportunities for improvement. Long term, this will cause a digital transformation for our customers, increasing their efficiency and profitability. The ideas presented in this talk are not intended to be new and earth shattering. These are five basic tips that are intended as a starting point, things you can implement today. The reason we have chosen these particular tips is because we still see many customers that are not taking advantage of these opportunities. They're low hanging fruit, easy ways for you to increase your job site's productivity. If you hadn't had a chance to listen to our resource tips on using intelligent machine control, I highly recommend it. In that episode, we discussed details of the benefits of 3D machine control and how to best deploy it on the job site. This episode will build on the topics covered in that material. Our first smart construction tip is about our excavators, using a GPS excavator to dig straight to grade. When we talk about GPS equipment, we're talking about machines that have grade control capability. Basically, a 3D target design file can be loaded into the machine and the machine will know where it is working versus the design. As I go out and visit job sites, most job sites I see have some form of a GPS doser on them. That means that contractors have really started accepting them. Those same job sites or other job sites, I still see a lot of standard excavators. So something for you to consider as a company is the benefit of a 3D GPS equipped excavator for your mass excavation application. There are multiple benefits. First, it frees up your GPS dozer so you can do other work. The dozer can come back occasionally to clean up, but the excavator is able to cut grade on its own. This allows you to potentially turn a support machine into a production machine. Secondly, you can reduce the need for grade stakes. Staking the job site is still common for some companies. Building a design model and including it for your dozer and excavator operators to reference can allow companies to reduce the use of grade stakes. This frees up your surveyors to complete other tasks. Another thing is that the GPS excavator can also help you reduce or eliminate rework because the design in the monitor aids the operator in understanding the site more deeply. For example, allowing the excavator operator to complete complex contours on the first try. Being able to visualize exactly where the pond starts and ends without worrying about watching stakes can help make the operator's job easier. As far as numbers, one in-house study at Komatsu compared the conventional method using staking to the use of a 3D GPS excavator. The result? A 63% reduction in construction time with savings in time spent digging, staking, as well as in inspection. 
This is one example on one site, but it speaks to the potential savings a 3D GPS excavator can have in mass excavation applications. Moving on to our second tip. Consider the benefits of a 3D GPS excavator in more specific applications, such as footings and utilities. While these applications are different, the benefits of using a 3D GPS excavator are similar. First, know exactly where you should be digging and how deep, using the model as a reference. Adding in the functionality of 3D machine control reduces over digging or having to come back and rework something when the surveyor checks it. Both footings and utilities generally have a flat bottom trench. Creating a smooth bottom at the correct elevation and slope will ensure that the right volume of material is used. Whether this is concrete or bedding material, it will help save on costs. For the utility application, grading the bottom of a trench with a GPS excavator will make it easier for the person in the hole, minimizing any manual regrading required. Also for utility, when something needs to be modified during installation in the field, the operator can create a sloping plane surface at the proper angle using the capabilities built into the machine. As we work with our customers, we are starting to see more and more complex footings, with data centers for hosting servers as just one example. A 3D model is especially valuable for these complex footings, as variable depths and shapes of footing pads would take additional survey time and invite room for error. An in-house study found a 92% productivity improvement while excavating footings when using a GPS excavator versus a traditional method. A second study found a 47% reduction in the volume of bedding material required for underground utilities. Again, these are specific examples and your applications may vary from this. So far, we've been focusing on the benefits of 3D excavators, but this next tip applies to all machines that use a design. Being able to send machine files or support operators from anywhere is an easy way to increase your efficiency. Many GPS-enabled machines will use a site-specific design file containing the design surface and line work for reference. When a machine is moved between job sites or there is a change to the design, a new file must be loaded. A file transfer service will allow office personnel to transfer the required design file to one or more machines on a site simultaneously without having to physically visit the machine. If the operator uses the machine to take topo shots, the file can be pulled from the machine back to the office for documentation. If an operator has a question, office personnel can view or control the operator's screen while troubleshooting problems. For example, ensuring that the right file is being used or troubleshooting base station channel settings with an operator. This is a simple capability, but remotely transferring files or supporting operators saves time driving to and finding the machine on a job site. It also allows designs to be sent to the machine as soon as they are completed, instead of waiting for someone to be available to drive to the site. So far, we've been talking about quick tips related to GPS machines and how they can help benefit your job site. This is, after all, the foundation of smart construction. But smart construction is about the whole job site, which brings us to tip four, job site setup for your excavator and truck fleet. Here's a couple of quick, easy things that you can look at on all of your jobs to help optimize your excavator and truck fleet. First, looking at excavator setup. When the excavator is loading trucks, it is best practice to reduce the excavator swing angle when possible. For example, the shortest swing time will be when loading a truck that is next to the excavator. The longest swing time will be angles of 120 to 180 degrees when the excavator has to spin completely around to load the truck. Cycle by cycle, it won't add that much time, but over the course of the job, this can make a difference in your productivity and number of trucks loaded per day. When an excavator is not loading a truck, such as in some utility and footing applications, this still applies. Smaller swings to spoil the material are better when possible for productivity. You can see in the upper picture that when a truck spots under the bucket of the excavator, the excavator will not have to swing very far to load the truck. In the bottom picture, a longer swing is required. The setup shown in the bottom picture is a drive-by method. This has a larger swing angle, but some of the additional time spent swinging is made up because the truck doesn't have to spot up under the bucket. Moving on to the number of trucks in the fleet. This applies more to the mass excavation application or any application where more than one truck is being loaded by the excavator. 
The number of trucks that should be used on a specific job site depends on a number of factors, such as excavator size, site conditions, and haul distance, to name a few. This tip doesn't get into that level of detail. Instead, we're just looking at observing a fleet while on a job site. An easy way to check the number of trucks needed is to observe who is waiting, the trucks or the excavator. If the excavator is sitting with its bucket loaded waiting for a truck, adding another truck to your construction site could help. This is called a truck dependent application. The upper picture shows a truck dependent application because the excavator is waiting on a truck. If there are one or more trucks waiting to be loaded by the excavator, most of the time, the fleet may have too many trucks, making the productivity dependent on the loading tool or a loader dependent application. The bottom picture shows a second truck waiting queued up so that application is a loader dependent application. Another thing to watch for is trucks traveling together. While on a job site, I noticed that about half the time the excavator was waiting for trucks and the other half the trucks were queued up at the excavator. Spacing out the trucks along the cycle path can potentially help solve both problems in a fleet. If one truck arrives as the previous one is leaving, wait time for both the trucks and the excavator in the fleet can be reduced. Adding one second of cycle time for each pass loading a truck can decrease the loader dependent productivity from 2 to 4%. Over the course of a job, this can add up to additional days of work. Our final tip also concerns the whole job site, aerial mapping. Over the past several years, I have seen vast improvements in the quality and speed of aerial mapping solutions. From data return time to units and projections available, and even to the data formats that are available to download. Yet when I talk to contractors, many of them have not yet investigated the benefits aerial mapping can have for them. In this case, I am talking about using a drone along with minimal ground control to survey a site. Aerial mapping allows our customers to vastly speed up the time to survey a site. Additionally, instead of getting one point every 10 or 30 feet, aerial mapping provides one point every inch without having to manually traverse the entire site. This detailed point cloud has many uses, such as documenting as-built conditions, easily calculating stockpile volumes without the worry of missing a brake line, or even job site and cut fill tracking. One valuable use case for our customers is documenting the initial job site conditions to compare against the bid data. Knowing the situation of the job site before starting to move earth can have a dramatic impact on the profitability of the project. Additionally, Aerial mapping data from some vendors can be accessed and analyzed through an online portal. This can minimize the need for custom computers or software packages. It also allows for the data to be easily shared with the added option of limiting user permissions by account. For one example, drones are capable of photographing 100 acres in 20 minutes. Here's a few things to think about on how to get started. Are you using your 3D machine control machines to their full capability? When you're on job sites, do you see trucks waiting to be loaded? Are you making full use of your investments? Have you looked into aerial mapping? Are there any other easy technologies out there that you should think about adopting?